So what's going on guys, Matthew with Drug Tech back again with yet another video for you guys and today I didn't expect to receive this but it came in the mail today so we're going to be unboxing and doing an in-depth review of the POCO X3 NFC. So before we begin this video, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and enable notifications so you can get notified on the latest content which I post. So without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing of the POCO X3 NFC. Alright guys, so what do you think of that ASMR right there? I'm really trying to do something different on this channel. So let me know in the comments what you think about it. But anyway, let's focus on the POCO X3 NFC itself. Let's put all the rest to the side. Alright, so let's take a look at the box. So on the top, you get the POCO logo. And then you get the X3 in the center, very big print. NFC on the bottom. That's about it on the front. The left side, you get POCO X3 NFC, similar to the right as well. On top, you have nothing. Okay, on the bottom, you have the spec, so you can see right here, POCO X3 NFC, Shadow Grey, so this is the highest spec for the POCO X3 NFC, which comes in 6GB RAM and 128GB ROM. This has SD card support, but we'll be looking at that after the unboxing is done. Alright, so let's take a look at what comes in the box. Let me slide the lid out. Alright, so the lid is out. Let me put the lid to the side. Do we have anything inside? Nothing. Alright, so you can see on the top, we have a sleeve with the POCO branding right on top so let's see what is there in this sleeve on the top itself when we open the sleeve we get a sim ejector tool which is uh, pretty common these days all right putting the sleeve to the side let's see what comes inside first we get a poco x3 nfc user guide as well as the warranty card so pretty standard affair okay we do have a case here so this is an antibacterial case if i'm not mistaken can't see germs so i don't know how true that is so right here we have the clear TPU case, pretty soft case with a flap at the bottom to protect the USB-C port. I do love these flaps because, I mean, that's the reason I use waterproof cases and auto box cases because of that flap. Some people may not like it. So if you don't like that, you can actually just cut them off. No big deal right there. Okay, on the bottom of that sleeve, we have the POCO X3 NFC itself. So you can see right here, Qualcomm Snapdragon 732G. This is not a 5G phone. This is a 4G phone. So unfortunately, there's no 5G variant for the POCO X3 NFC. I would, otherwise, I would have gotten that instead of this. So we have 120 hertz, 6.67 inch Full HD Plus dot display, or should I say punch hole display. So the highlight of this is actually the 120 hertz refresh rate on a phone that is below 1000 ringgit. But the screen is not an AMOLED screen. This is an LCD screen, so there are compromises. Of course, considering the price, you're not going to be wanting too much, especially from a mid-range device like this. So you have a 64 megapixel AI quad camera. I heard it's a pretty good camera. So last but not least, you have a 5,160 amps hour battery, which is the biggest on a POCO phone because uh, POCO is, is a sub-brand of Xiaomi. So you can say it's one of the biggest batteries they ever had on a Xiaomi phone. All right, so let's put the phone to the side. Let's see what else comes in the box. Getting this out of the way. No headphones here. So right here, we have a 33 watt fast charger. You can see the orange accent. Good thing that they include a fast charger at this price point. So last but not least, we have a Type-C to USB-A cable inside. I have a ton of this, so I don't think I'll be opening this cable right here. So let's put the rest to the side. All right guys, so we have the phone fully unwrapped. Let me get this sticker out of the way. That has all the IME information. Peel that off and stick it on the plastic. Alright, so I got mine in grey colour. Almost like a black colour. It's very dark grey. You can see this pretty nice stripe in the centre with the POCO branding. So, I don't know how many are a fan of that. I'm personally not a fan of a big company branding right at the back. I like the, the sort of um, cross pattern inside. You can see from here. So I was thinking of getting the blue, but I already bought the blue before. So I decided not to get the blue and go with the gray instead. This is a plastic bag, by the way, not a glass bag. So it's already getting tons and tons of fingerprints. So on the back, there are four cameras. So you get a 64 megapixel main camera, a wide angle camera, a depth sensor, as well as a macro camera. I mean, the macro camera is basically a throwaway feature. We don't really use macro cameras. I mean, two megapixel macro camera, seriously. I mean, what's the point? 
of a phone with a 2 megapixel camera. It's like going back in time. But anyways, for me, micro camera is a no-go. But since they gave it right here, I'm not going to complain. Because having four cameras helps them to achieve the quad camera setup. I wish they had thrown in maybe like a telephoto camera instead. With this big protruding camera module, why not have a telephoto instead of a micro camera? But I guess cost-wise, they had to cut that off. So you get the LED flash as well. So overall, pretty nice camera design. I'm a pretty big fan of it. So it's not going to wobble on the table, you can see right here. So on the right side of the phone, we actually have a volume up and down and also a power button slash fingerprint scanner. So this is a pretty neat feature. This is an LCD panel, so there is no in-display fingerprint scanner. You can see the screen is full of smudges. There's a pre-applied screen protector, by the way. I'm not sure whether you can see it, but there's a pre-applied screen protector. You can see for this whole punch cutout camera right here. So these have stereo speakers as well. So I heard the stereo speakers are all right, I guess, for a mid-range device. So taking a look at the bottom, we actually have the headphone jack, USB-C port, as well as your bottom firing speaker. And you have a microphone hole as well. It's kind of odd that it's not in the center. All right, so on the top, if you're wondering what this hole is, it's actually for the speaker. It's like a sound port, something like the Note 10. You remember the Note 10 Plus, the Samsung Note 10 Plus? They actually had a hole, something like that. So it's pretty neat. Then there's also an IR blaster. I'm not sure whether you can see it. You have an IR blaster as well as your secondary noise cancellation microphone. All right, so before we power on this phone, let's see the SIM card slot. This phone is also splash resistant, by the way. So right here, we have a hybrid SIM slot with either two nano SIMs or one micro SD and one nano SIM. So you can see there's a gasket right there as well because this is actually splash resistant. Pretty good for a phone at this price. All right, so let's power on this device. Wait for it to start up. And I'll go through the setup and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we're back. And that was a very, very long setup process. I mean, to sign into your Xiaomi account and other stuff, I mean, crazy, crazy long. And then the phone took some time to actually start up so i have this here we're going to test out the camera i'm interested in the, actually the camera performance all right so let's take a picture of uh, pikachu right here so it's still processing the picture wow okay that is pr pretty impressive i should say the details on this i never expected the xiaomi phone to actually have this good quality i mean considering that this is a budget device the last phone i used was the redmi note 8 pro and that camera was uh, so so not the best but this is pretty good coming from an iphone i think the, the the even the background separation is pretty good you can see right here very nice detailed image i really do love the the camera quality let's take a picture of the box All right so we have taken a shot it takes some time to process wow okay this camera is actually pretty good let's take a close look at the box you can see the fine details this light is not the brightest, but it's uh, pretty bright, I should say. Not like the sunlight bright, but it's uh, for studio lighting, it's uh, all adequate. You can see right here, the details on the map, on my mouse pad, excellent, excellent. I'm really surprised by the picture quality, in fact. The performance is uh, really, really good. Let's take a look at the screen refresh rate. Where is the display? Okay, we'll go to display, let's see. Alright guys, so right here we have refresh rate. Let's take a look at the refresh rate. You can see 60 hertz versus 120 hertz. So this is an adaptive uh, refresh rate, I should say. So just saying, if you're watching a YouTube video which is 30 frames per second, this will automatically recalibrate to 30 frames per second so it doesn't waste battery at maximum refresh rate, like 120 hertz in this case. So this is a pretty smart move from uh, Poco or Xiaomi in a way because it's actually using MIUI 12. So this is my first take at MIUI 12 because I've never actually used MIUI 12 before. So I'm interested to try this out. Pretty good screen. Uh, I'm actually liking the colors. So you can see the color scheme and stuff like that. So there's also dark mode. So I do like dark mode. So you can see the whole user interface changes to black. So it's, it doesn't save battery for an LCD display. But I mean, it's easy on the eyes. So definitely I'll pick that. All right, so this has been a very quick unboxing and first look at the Pocophone X3 NFC. Do let me know in the comments what you would like me to do, what tests you would like me to do with this device. I'll try to make that happen. So if you did like this video, do give it a thumbs up and also share with your friends and family. You really help the channel. So thanks guys for all your support. I really appreciate that. 
So I'll probably do some case videos if I can find some good cases for this device. I'm not sure how long I'll be keeping this device. So if I choose not to keep this device, I'll probably sell it on my carousel account. So do stay tuned for that. That wraps up this video, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.